Hey everyone, it's Terilyn. I'm an empath and psychic, and in today's video, I'm going to be doing a collective message meant for you. So for today's reading, I decided to try shuffling in a different way and just see if it changes the way that I want to shuffle. So I broke the deck up into five different sections. I have the major arcana, and then I took each of the suits and put them into their own pile. So I'm going to go ahead and shuffle all the cards, and then we're going to start with the reading. We got two jumpers. We have strength and the wheel of fortune. We have the ace of swords. We have the four of cups and the page of cups. We have the Page of Pentacles. We have the Page of Wands and we have the Ace of Wands. So I just got done rearranging the cards so you can see them a bit better. So you have a beautiful message. So with this Strength card and the Wheel of Fortune, this is really telling me that you are at a point in your life along your journey where you have these roles, expectations, or destiny that's meant for you and you need to have the strength to continue forward. I really sense that you're at not a crossroad, so to speak, but more so an opportunity where you have the option of what choice you make and where you go and what you do and I feel like with this strength card it's really telling you you got to look within yourself you got to do what feels right because with the strength card here she's saving the whale and so it's asking you the question of what do you want to be your purpose what do you want to be your legacy what do you want to do with your time this doesn't have to be something that's daunting and it doesn't have to be big in the grand scheme of things but it's asking like right here in this moment what choice do you want to make what's something that's going to make you fulfilled and not about what others are going to be fulfilled by or what they want you to do. It's saying now is your choice. You are this wheel. You get to decide where the ship goes. And you also have this ace of swords. And so this is telling you that you are at the point where you are seeing the truth. You are seeing the clarity of every situation in your life and you are being provided information. And so this is really a card that's indicating as you make this choice to use your own knowledge, use your own intuition, really allow yourself to sit and make this choice for yourself. This isn't for others to decide. I feel like a lot of you, um, you have people in your life who want you to do things and it's like you can listen to them, you can understand them, you can see where they're coming from, but you still get to decide what you want to do. And I also feel like the universe is trying to work with you because this Four of Cups here, you have this person and their sorrows and not really paying attention to what's around them. But both cups, you have someone coming to offer you a cup and with the page of cups, you have someone offering you things as well. So you have these opportunities that are coming to you and these opportunities are from your own imagination because you're being handed this cup, you get to decide what you do with it. Um, and so you have the opportunity with this page of cups to allow your imagination to make you do things that you never thought possible. That's why you have the strength here because everything you do is gonna require courage, it's gonna require your strength but you have it within you because of this wheel of fortune nothing is not able to happen nothing is impossible you might have to think of the path you might have to replan steps but you have the ace of swords you have the sword you have the knowledge you know what needs to be done and you have the ability to create the plan because you have this page of pentacles so people are trying to work with you and you're gonna be successful whatever it is you decide to do whatever choice you make it's going to end up being successful the path to it might not be linear it might not always be going upwards, but even if you fall back, even if you lose progress, even if things don't go how you planned, you are still moving forward. Even a small step forward is still a step forward. And don't worry if it feels like you made this big leap and now you're five steps back. You have the ability to continue to move past that, to get past where you're at, even if you keep facing issues because you're gonna be able to overcome them because of this page of cups. Your mind is different than others. And because you're passionate about this, because you're being fulfilled by this, you're gonna be wanting to make it work and your intuition is going to be guiding you because this ace of wands here it's so fitting that here we have this idea we have this image of what you want and you have the page of wands which is you getting this you are going to reach this idea i feel like those of you where you feel blocked or stuck you're going to be able to get out of this 
but what's required is for you to have a leap of faith in yourself. This isn't a leap of faith even in the universe or with others. This is about believing in yourself. You have to believe in yourself and that is going to allow people to work with you, opportunities to come to you. I feel like some of you, you feel like you can't manifest or you feel like it's pointless to manifest and the universe is trying to tell you to start manifesting, to start seeing what you want, make goals and try and achieve them even if they're small goals. Start working towards what you want and the universe is going to help you but if you're sitting, if you're wallowing in yourself like this four of cups, the universe is gonna be trying to help you and you're not gonna see it. And so what you're being told right now, what your spirit guides want you to know is that you have the choice on what you do. You have the choice on if you give up, you have the choice if you move forward. And the universe will help you out if you move forward. But the universe can only help you out if you're looking for the universe to help. If you're not looking for help, you're never gonna get it. It's the same way that we can only have people do so much for us. We only have so many opportunities to take people up on their offers before those offers stop coming. Because let's say you have a group of friends, they always wanna hang out with you, and every time they try and hang out with you, you always blow them off. Well, eventually there's gonna be a point where they don't even bother asking because they know the answer. And so right now the universe is, is willing to help you, but if you keep shutting it down then the universe isn't going to help you because you don't want its help you have to be open to receiving um, and I feel like those of you where you're blocked or you're stuck um, a lot of this comes from the fact that you are uninspired because you were not having fun in your life you were doing things because you feel like you have to and it's not going to create this inspiration that you need you're not going to be able to be creative and so what you really need to do you need to pull back um, I feel like a lot of times we try and be in the more masculine energy where people are trying to to work towards things or for something to happen because you really want it or you feel like it needs to happen and the thing about the feminine energy that's about our intuition and going with the flow of things and so just because you're trying to make something work doesn't mean it's gonna it's gonna lead to burnout if it's not meant to happen because there's no balance what I feel you guys need to do is create balance in your life don't be afraid to pull back more than you think because I find a lot of the times when people are stuck where they're not being balanced and they're creating burnout in their life there's almost this shame or guilt that is associated when you do pull back because you feel like you're not doing enough. You feel like people are judging you or you are judging yourself because you feel like you should be doing more. And so what I would say to you is to just like take a week and pretend you're on vacation. You don't actually have to go on vacation. You can still go to work and do your job if you need to. But take a week to yourself where you are working, you are still doing the things you have to do, but you are allowing yourself more grace and you are allowing yourself to use up the time as you see fit so that you're not spending all your time trying to push yourself to do more work than you need. It's almost like you need to take a week to do the bare minimum to see that even doing the bare minimum is still enough. This way when you move forward, you can do more than that, but you know when to pull back so that you are able to create balance where you're not being burnt out. Um, because by doing the bare minimum, you will see that even though it doesn't feel like you're doing a lot of progress forward, you are. And you're moving towards your goals. And sometimes it's actually better for you to do it that way because you are able to be more creative because you're not going to be so stuck. You're not going to be so burnt out that when you go to do the things you have to do, you actually have more energy and you actually do them a lot more efficiently. So take a week and just do what you have to do and try not to push yourself to do more than is necessary because it's going to be difficult at first. It's going to feel unnatural. You might feel a little bit anxious because it's something that is so like out of your comfort zone. But I feel like if you just take that week, by the end of the week, you're going to understand what your body needs, how you need to take care of it, and how you can give yourself more rest and still get things done. And so it's not saying to stop everything, but it's saying to really slow down and pull back way more than you think. Because a lot of times when we naturally try and slow down, we're still exerting ourselves a lot more than we need to be. Um, and then after this week, you can bring things back up. You don't have to continue to do the bare minimum. This is almost like a reset for your mind for you to let go of that fear and that doubt and say that you have to do this or else this won't happen because you're putting all this pressure on yourself that is causing you to be stifled. Um, so really take that pressure off of you and I feel like that's gonna allow you to receive more. It's gonna allow you to become unstuck because now you are actually taking care of yourself. And I also feel like a lot of you, you are gonna be receiving help 
from others in your lives and take them up on that. Don't feel shame or guilt for relying on others when they want to help you because it's going to allow you to achieve the success. And something else that I feel like is going to resonate for some of you is that this goal, this idea that you have, you might actually want to let more people in on it. You might want to share this idea with someone. Um, some of you, I feel like this could be business related. You might want to take on some business partners um, where you can all celebrate. Um, some of you, um, this could be like sharing with your family or your loved ones. Um, really make sure that you have people around you who are going to celebrate with you so you're not so lonely. I feel like some of you, you need to make the choice to allow more people in, allow more people to help you, and allow more people to love you so that even though you're working towards these goals, you're not so fixated on one thing. Because I feel like it's so easy for us humans to get tunnel vision on things and we kind of lose sight of other things that are important. And what your spirit guides want you to know is that you are always in control. You always get to make your own choices. You get to decide what you do. You get to decide if you allow help. And you also get to decide how aware you are. And by doing that, you are able to see when you need to pull back, still work on this goal, but also work on other goals at the same time. This way, your whole life overall is fulfilled and it's not reliant on this one thing. It's not reliant on achieving this one goal. It's reliant on having success in your life by achieving multiple goals and having things work out as you want them to so that you are happy with yourself. So that when you look on your life, you're happy with all the choices that you made because they were fulfilling to you. Even if it didn't last a long time, even if it's one goal and then you start something new, you are still fulfilled because you are doing what feels right for you. You're doing what's authentic. Um, and so I feel like this is really just confirmation for you that if you don't know what to do, um, to take a moment to reset things and really change your perspective on them and the universe is going to work with you. I feel like this is confirmation if you've been wanting to do something, it's going to work out and you need to go for it. Take that risk. Take a leap of faith on yourself. And it's also just confirmation that you are going to be able to make the best out of your life. You don't need to worry about your destiny, about what's planned, because you are the one who's able to control it. Where even if you have a destiny, you are going to be able to find that on your own. You don't have to worry that you're messing up or that you're ruining your destiny. Everything happens in divine timing. And so really just allow things to play out as they should and just do what makes you happy in the moment and what makes sense for you and your life and what your soul is calling you towards. Because your Ace of Swords here is really indicating that your intuition is guiding you along this journey. And so I really hope that this reading helps you. I really hope that this confirmation is what you needed. If it was, let me know in the YouTube comments down below. Also give this video a big thumbs up and share with others who need to hear it. If you're not already subscribed, please do so. I would love to have you a part of this family and also turn on that bell notification so you see when I post my next video. I post multiple videos a week and I post more collective readings like this, but I also do pickle pile readings and zodiac readings. And I also do educational videos to help you all in your spiritual journeys. If you want to get your own private reading, I do sell them. You can message me on Instagram or Facebook, or you can check out my Etsy shop. Everything's linked in the description box down below. You can also follow me on Instagram or TikTok. And I also have a Facebook group where we do offer free readings. That's going to be linked in the description box as well. And I'm sending you all so much love and light on your own spiritual journeys. And I can't wait to see you all in my next video. Have a good one. Bye.